Do you want to know how to recycle social media posts? In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about how to plan social media content with Metricool. My name is Elise Nelson and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, I'm going to share with you how to upload CSV files to Metricool from the easiest social media organization system spreadsheet. If you don't have the spreadsheet yet, be sure to click the link in this video to grab your copy. Before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know how many times you posted to social media last month. Every day? One to two times per week? Leave a comment and let me know. All right, so today we are going to be talking about our tabs that do not have an asterisk. So in the last video, we talked specifically about the tabs that have an asterisk, the topic tabs, and these are the tabs that you can actually edit in the spreadsheet. But now we need to talk about the tabs over here that do not have an asterisk. These are auto-generated from the filled in topic tabs to separate out the content for each platform. So what you're going to find is you're going to find that it tells you which type of topic you're talking about. So this is a generic topic and then it'll tell you which platform it's for. So this is the generic topic for Facebook. Now what we're going to be focusing on today is engagement. And so I have some engagement tabs filled in. So we're actually going to scroll over here to where we get to engagement. And you can either use your mouse to scroll or you can use these little arrows to scroll. And I want to actually go to engagement for Instagram. So you can see here on my spreadsheet for engagement, I have filled in the Instagram messages, the TikTok messages, and then I have put videos for Instagram and for TikTok. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over to engagement for Instagram. And you're gonna see that these are auto-generated from what copy I had in the other side. But it only gives me the actual message and the image or creative for this particular post. So this is my Instagram engagement posts. And this is what we need to use to upload to Metricool. If you were using dated posts, you would upload these, this content to the calendar. But if you're using non-dated or evergreen posts, which we talked about what evergreen posts are in another video in this playlist. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. Then in that case, if you're doing non-dated or evergreen posts like this one, you would upload it to an auto list. Now keep in mind, you do not want to edit these tabs in any way because if you do, it will mess up the formulas. So right now you can see that I am clicked on this cell and I can see that there is copy in here. I can see that it says carry your phone, but look up here what it says. It says that this is a formula engagement C2. So if you edit any of these tabs, it will mess up the formulas and your copy will not auto generate anymore. So you want to make sure that you're not editing anything in a non asterisk tab. Okay. You want more help with your e-commerce brand, subscribe and sign up for notifications on my YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. Now let's talk about how to download the CSV files to upload to Metricool and schedule an entire year of content in just a few minutes. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to find the correct topic. So as I said earlier, I was working with the engagement tab right here. And you are going to then, um, so I'm looking at engagement. So we came down here and we looked for the ENG, which stands for engagement. And I wanted to look at Instagram. So that's why I came here. So the correct topic and the correct platform, then you're going to click on the tab. Then you're going to come up to the upper left corner and you're going to click on file, download, comma, separated value, CSV. And that is going to download the file that we need to upload to Metricool to schedule all of this content with just a few clicks. Now, before we jump into the rest of the lesson, please like this video. Also be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today, because it's really important that you implement what you learn. All right. So now let's talk about how to upload the CSV file to Metricool auto list. So we're going to go over here to the auto list and I have already created an auto list for Instagram and this is videos. So short form vertical videos for Instagram. And what you need to do is you need to go into the planning tab and then go to your auto list and then go into the auto list that you want to use. And if you don't know how to create an auto list and you haven't watched the video where I talk about how to set everything up in here, I would highly recommend that you go and watch that video. It's right here in the same playlist, the metrical playlist. Just click the link in the description to watch the entire playlist. Then you're going to come down here. So if you want to upload the CSV, you're going to click on add file from CSV. Then you're going to click where it says select file. 
and you are going to find the one that is the one that you want. So if you've downloaded several different ones, you're going to want to look at it first. So you can see this is engagement for Instagram. So that is the one that I would want. So I would double click on it and then it's going to open it up. Now, if I click on where it says click to preview, it will show me what the image or video is. And over here is the way is where you can see what that is going to look like. So you can see here, this is automatically telling it it's Instagram because of the way that this was set up and it lets you see the feed or the post. Now, if you're doing a video like this one, it will not show you the preview because it doesn't bring videos in. But if it's an image, it'll actually put the image right here on the screen so that you can see exactly what the, what the post more or less is going to look like. Um, and if you click, you can make sure that the uh, creative is importing. And that's one of the reasons I like to click to make sure that the creatives are actually importing. Then you're gonna click on add CSV. Now I'm not going to do that because I've actually already uploaded this. And especially when you're uploading videos, it takes a really long time. So we're gonna just pretend that that uploaded. And then what would happen is you would see all these little posts. So each one of these posts is one of the rows from this spreadsheet. So here's um, a post here and here it is right here. And see, it says carry your phone hands-free. So it has actually created those posts from that spreadsheet. The nice thing about the spreadsheet is it is independent of your scheduler. So if anything was to ever happen with your scheduler, you would still have all that content organized for yourself. So it's really important that you keep that separate because then it's yours and you don't have to worry about losing out on it. Once you have uploaded your file, you do want to scroll through here and make sure you see an image or a video, whatever you've uploaded in this lower left corner of each post because sometimes they do not actually fully upload. So my suggestion is that you scroll down and you look at them and make sure that they are all there on every single post. There's nothing worse than having all this planning done and then having it not work because you didn't make sure it went all the way through. And if for some reason you do not see the posts here, you don't see the images of the videos coming up, one thing you can do is you can back out of it and then come back into it to double check and make sure that it is in fact working. And if you're using video, sometimes it'll take it a minute to upload. So as I scroll down, you can see that the videos are there. So you just wanna double check and make sure that your, your creative is there after you do your uploading. Today's question was, how many times did you post to social media last month? Every day, one to two times per week? Comment and let me know. Get the Metrical full tutorial by watching the Metrical tutorial playlist. Be sure to get the easiest social media organization system and schedule all your posts on all your platforms with just one spreadsheet. The links are in the description. Also be sure to watch my last YouTube video where we talked about how to plan social media posts and using a social media marketing plan spreadsheet for your e-commerce business. In the next video, we'll be discussing how to use CSV files in Metrical for dated posts because it is a little bit different. If you're ready to give Metrical a try, click the link in the description to sign up and try the free account right now. Your challenge for today is to look back over your last month of social media posts and count how many of your posts you could use again in the future if you are organized enough to keep them all together. Don't forget to live your dream every single day and I will see you in the next lesson.